for a country like mine, education is almost everything. Education is at the beginning of peace, of conviviality. Education is at the basis of everything that could last. Constitution, laws, institutions, and also economy. There is no better investment in the world as education. The knowledge is something what opens the door to everyone and if we can um, equip everyone with it, I'm sure that we can add very positive uh, things to the world. A good education, education is uh, education that can change life, that can help people to think, that can provide uh, a good uh, coexistence and uh, and also that can equip people to, to have uh, the skills that need to uh, live in this planet. I think good learning is an environment that um, promotes peace, justice, fairness, self-respect, the respect of the other, the suggestion that um, you are just one part of a puzzle, a bigger puzzle than yourself, and that the whole picture is not complete until you actually fit in that puzzle. A good education is providing a teaching and learning environment that gets every student to achieve their potential. A good education gives um, our children a foundational understanding of the world that surrounds them. So if students can understand some of these fundamentals, then they'll be better equipped to understand and have agency in the digital world that surrounds them. Good education is holistic education that trains the whole person, the mind, the heart, and the hands. Learning is overall a social experience. So a good learning is a good conversation that goes back and forth. The smarter person in the room is the room, stressing this idea that when you are capable of connecting with others, you can make wonderful things. Collaborative learning is, uh, is extremely important. I, be I believe it was Bacon who said that education is like manure and uh, it's useless if you don't spread it. So learning is uh, important when it is shared because um, you are part of a community, you are part of a nation, and collectively you can develop the nation. Good learning uh, is that uh, aspect which takes into cognizance the needs of the community and tying it to the other global needs getting its cultural values achieved and making sure that it go in line with the desires of other communities because it is not just your own that matters, other people's also matter and you can only get to do this when you provide the best education. Good learning is where the learner uh, is allowed to explore, to be a participant in the discovery of knowledge. It's more important than ever that you know, cooperation takes on a different angle, which is really having empathy and understanding about how other people, not just in different countries, but within your own you know, sphere of influence, actually work together. Collaborative learning means collaborative teaching. They have to open the doors to other teachers and start working in, in projects, interdisciplinary projects, and this means a lot of collaboration in between the teachers, so the knowledge is cross-curricular, shared. To me, good learning is when you have people working together to solve a problem, and they all recognize they have to be in charge of their learning, they have to be motivated and inspired, by the topic, it has to be relevant and authentic to them, and that they each bring a different set of skills and capabilities and competencies to the table. And 
be, being part of that solution, being collaborative and working together, and recognizing that they all have amongst them this diversity of capabilities gives the chance to solve that problem in different ways, to understand and be empathetic to someone's point of view, to collaborate and communicate well together. Good learning is that the cognitive skills of a, a child has to be developed and uh, uh, the assessments has to be done, done through uh, student learning outcomes. So teaching is the biggest thing, that's the biggest nut that we have to crack in the whole education system. Unless we have good teachers, we can't deliver whatever technology, whatever best methods we can develop. In the heart of the education system, and the whole thing is focused at the child and giving him or her that particular learning or education which will make him or her a better person, a better citizen. So for that, it is the the main thing of every education system is the teacher. That the better the teacher, the better the learning, the better the education. Teachers need to be the center of the discussions, need to be the heroes of our countries, of our societies, and uh, they need to, to, to be much more familiar to, to the resources, to technology, to the discussions, to the global t discussions, because at the end of the day, they translate all these opportunities into uh, the learning process of our children. So I think that teachers play the most significant role in the education system right now. What is key is to make sure that we make the teaching profession the profession of choice so that we can attract the best and the brightest. Because only when we achieve that shall we be able to improve on the quality of education. Impart knowledge, we used to say. <laughs> the teacher used to be the imparter of knowledge. But these days, the children learn, can even learn without the teacher. So the teacher in the classroom is a facilitator. The teacher facilitates the children's learning, creates the access for children to go out and discover knowledge. Thinking about where we are today, we have to lead with what we envision the future to be. Uh, if we think of the Industrial Revolution, it took a hundred years to move from primarily people living on farms to people living in cities and working in factories versus the agricultural. That kind of hundred year change is likely to happen in 15 to 20 years. And half of the jobs they say that exist today uh, won't uh, uh, exist. So from an education perspective, what we have to be thinking about is how do we design learning when we don't even know what the jobs will be. I think education is the one sector that always lags behind others uh, when it comes to change. Uh, and I think now when we talk about the fourth industrial revolution and the need to change, we are the last sector to do so. I mean, we have to respond to the fact that the world has changed and technology is just booming and new kids are born in a different world. We have to change the way we prepare them, um, the tools they master, uh, the skills they have. Probably education is one of the last frontiers to buy into the technology revolution. And uh, education by and large now is still conducted in a classroom setting uh, where there's a teacher in front of the class and the class should be attentive following what the teacher is saying. But we should use technology uh, and leverage technology into the class to start having a personalized system of, of learning and educating the next workforce. Uh, nowadays, it's not easier for the new generation to work, uh, to get a job or work everywhere. So uh, it's very important uh, for the new generation to get education in maths, physics and chemistry. These are very important, otherwise they will not be, uh, get opportunity in the human resource market. Yeah, what we can clearly see is that the uh, uh, gap between the demands of societies on education and what comes out of education is growing by the minute. You can see this, you know, you have lots of university graduates finding difficulties in getting a job, and at the same time employers telling us they can't find the people with the skills they need. And it's really about 
the reproduction of subject matter content that has dominated education for many, many decades that is losing in relevance, while the kind of 21st century knowledge and skills, the capacity of people to think like a scientist, think like a philosopher, think like an historian, and all at the same time, the capacity of people to develop strong social and emotional skills, working with people who are different from you, who think differently, triangling different fields of knowledge, those are often still shortchanged, and that's what the modern society really values. The kind of things that are easy to teach, easy to test, have become a lot easier to digitize, automate, and outsource. So they are disappearing from the world. The children are getting into first grade today and going to be out in 2030 after K-12. They're going to be in a totally different world. So every student has to be a problem solver of problems that he never thought would come. So for that, you have to have a very open project-based education. And you have to have good citizens because we're getting into a world where culture, citizenship are very much important. It is preparation for life. And just to, to say it better, because John Dewey, a famous American educator, he said, school is not preparation for life, school is life itself. And I truly believe in that. So we should give them opportunities to socialize and cooperate. And that's what we have at workplace and what we have in life. And that's, uh, that's life itself. Education is a human right. And I think that all children are entitled to a good quality education and to learn, um, regardless if, you are, if you've got special needs or not, uh, regardless if you're disabled or not, if you're a boy or girl or, or whatever your status is. I think that all children are entitled to a good quality education and entitled to get that opportunity to learn. Uh, addressing the tremendous need for innovation um, that um, the fourth industrial revolution is requiring of all, all of us, all the countries. These are new issues that we're grappling with and I think that's one of the values of this conference is we're comparing notes, looking at what works and what doesn't. Uh, educationalists who have been uh, cultivating the hopes and aspirations of people in empowering nations and getting them to establish different future is what's key. Learning from lessons learned and not lessons forgotten is very important. Building on the uh, deliveries of others, on the quality work that they've done and on the accumulation of wisdom they have uh, accumulated over the years is certainly key for the establishment of a different future. So whilst we talk about education, we are investing in hope, and hope is key for the future.